now i am in my um forty gate firewall here now we will have to activate the eval license now since our firewall is able to reach the internet um as you can see right and also dns is working fine now let's go here and log in as admin admin at one two three so i'm inside my firewall now i will do eval license like this and i will basically enter my credentials of the support portal right here so as you can see i see as um zero products to my account are registered so i'll go here and type in my credentials now if you don't have the account you can create one register for one with the with your personal email account and just enter the credentials here with which you log into the support portal the same credentials and now if i go to my fortinet this should be able to uh, send the traffic now let's see what happens once this is done the system will be rebooting yes it is so that means the evaluation process was successful and now the firewall is going to reboot and and the evaluation period will be starting and i should be able to see this in my uh, products and assets yeah as you can see i can see this registration date and the trial has been activated on this serial number so if i go to my firewall here once this is restarted i will show you the info which will we will compare the serial number from here and from my firewall and they should be the same yeah again you can see here on here only that the serial number is matching right so let's see once this is back then we will again log in to the uh the the system right on the gui yeah so i'll just hit on uh, admin and admin at one two three is the password hit enter and then i should be able to see the gui now for the first time or i should be able to do the setup so i'll set be begin and this is the host name if you want to change you can change it let's say firewall um, or, or, or we can say dc firewall one okay and let's keep this as optimal and yeah that's all so i will just close this message and now you can see all this here right so allocated is ram is 1 gb we can have a maximum of 2 gb if you want to increase we can do it but the uh, allocated vcpus is going to be only one and also the network interfaces that we will have on is only going to be three so you go to the network here and then go to interfaces and you will see only three interfaces because of the eval license here that is why I, we are having a 7.2 here and 7.0 so you should see the difference there now on the port one as you saw in the cli these are the uh, protocols or administrative active, uh, administrative access protocols that are allowed by default and on port two um, you can see uh, now on port four right we did the configuration and uh, we will have to change that from here so we will have to have a port which is like port three instead of port four if i do admin and admin add one two three this is going to be a problem now because if i do a execute execute ping to 99.199.1.1.1 which is going to fail because we don't have the interface right now so that is a problem over there so we will have to remove this um, uh, port 3 and connect it here and then assign an ip address there so i will just close the firewall and i will just system and i can do a shutdown here i will shut down the firewall and let's wait for the firewall to shut down now for the dmz part i will take 7.0 but for uh, some of the next gen features i will have this one here so i'll say i will not delete uh, the firewall so i'll just delete the port from here as well as from here so i'll keep the dmz uh, as is for the time being we can use it later port 3 is here and let's get started okay we will wait for the firewall to boot up double click and open
okay so this has booted up admin and admin add one to three great now i'm inside this uh firewall now i can go to the gui and configure the port three let's do it from um from the cli this time you have seen sorry from the gui this time you have seen the cli mm, i'll say okay now for to configure the interfaces basically you have to go to network and then interfaces and then you select the port 3 which is now our external interface right select on that click on that sorry and then you can have um, the i mean the type or the mode you can say manual dhcp right so we are doing as uh, this as manual the ip address is going to be 99.1.1.51 slash 24 okay so that is um and then i can have the administrator to access as a ping just to test it right and that would be all hit okay and i have this now i know that we will not be having the static route because the interface itself was uh, was deleted so just to check the route what you can do is you have a command which is get router get router info get router info routing table all routing table all and you see right it is just the connected route now we don't have the static routes here now we did configure the static routes through the cli let's configure this on the gui so you go to the um, network um, uh, option uh, go to interfaces um, and then uh, basically inside the network you go to static routes and you create a new one and say default and the gateway is basically 99.1.1.1 that's all you need to configure and you need to say the port basically this is going to be port 3 and um, the firewall is smart enough it knows that 99 uh, uh, network is connected through the port 3 so it just took it hit on ok now if i go do the same command here i should have a static route now yeah and if i do the execute ping here to a dot a dot a dot a now this should be successful now if even if i do execute um trace route and then the destination which is a dot a dot a dot a i should see this going to the 99 and then to my uh through the router to the uh, this address to my uh the router on the virus lan right so that is how you do the uh, configuration of static route and interface configuration through the GUI and we have uh, come across the limitation of the eval license on 7.2 uh, wherein you do only have three interfaces and we made the changes to the topology and then we configured and then we also um, uh, verified that the firewall is able to reach to the internet now that would be all for this video i will see you in the next lecture